try something new today before we get into this uh, information about fluoride uh, because well because I will fuck your system yes I will and I know the fluoride has dumbed you down you know um, dumb society down some of you know that but uh, many of you don't and uh, I, I think I'm gonna try to combat that so that you're able to take in the information uh, that I give you and understand its true value and not just be passive and say well it must be good for you so while I go through this we're gonna listen to lightly in the background some uh, deep brain stimulation music I'll link you to the video that I'm that I'm using for this from uh, meditate relax club but uh, here we go let's let's be thinking now get those brains going okay you see the headline from fluoridealert.org um, I'm gonna link you to this as well folks you can come on over here and uh, check this out and subscribe because you, you need to stay on top of this but uh, anyway Port Angeles citizens vote against fluoride uh, I'm just gonna give you the highlights of this it not big numbers but the majority of people that did respond to a poll um, are in favor of stopping water fluoridation 56 percent over 41 uh, what I want to do is go back to the email that I got that alerted me to this oh wait one more note um, this doesn't mean that it's ending the city is under uh, contract until May 18th 2016 after that the fluoridation will continue unless the city council takes action to dis discontinue the practice but the first step is a big success because the people say no we don't want it so if those people follow through approach their city council do what needs to be done it will stop um, in May of this year let's hope that happens and let's hope that you guys can grab a hold of this information I'm about to give you see how horrific this is it's an issue that you must you absolutely must uh, stop your kids are, are all labeled ADHD and a lot of them do have signs of hyperactivity and and all that type of stuff and it's because of the toxins in the environment this is one of the toxins okay although most of us it makes us passive take it takes away that critical thinking um, anytime you, you shut down part of your body, something else is going to compensate. So if you're shutting down one part of your brain, something else is going to be overstimulated. It's like if you lose one eye, the other eye is going to become stronger. If you lose both eyes, your ears are going to become stronger. Your nose is going to smell more. You know what I'm saying. It's absolutely true. So let's get to this information. I want to read this letter to you uh, from Donna Westfall to the Peel Council. Uh, there's a lot of facts in here that you really need to grab a hold of, some, some good information. As a former city councilwoman, I was instrumental in investigating my constituents' complaints about the harmfulness of water fluoridation. As a result, I helped in getting an initiative to the ballot, and we successfully voted in a moratorium on November 6th of uh, tw uh, 2012 to turn off toxic industrial waste fluoride, which is hydrofluorosilic acid or HFSA. Because of our supplier Univar, formerly Basic Chemical Solutions would not provide three things. They would not provide a toxicological report. They would not provide a listing of contaminants and they would not provide proof that their product was safe for all water consumers infant to seniors this absurd practice of adding HFSA is based more on politics and science why should a water department be given the power to medicate anyone when they don't take a health history they don't pass out a listing of side effects or monitor the dose now I'm gonna pause for a minute I want you if you have a fluoride toothpaste I want you to note on there it tells you that if you swallow more uh, than you would normally swallow during any routine brushing being careful not to swallow obviously some you're going to swallow so if you swallow more than that 
you're to contact poison control. So you brushed your teeth. You didn't swallow any more than you're supposed to, but obviously you did swallow a little bit. And, and then you drank how many glasses of water with how much fluoride in it? You just poisoned yourself every day. You're poisoning your children every day. The facts are right there in front of you. Read the toothpaste. That should be all that you need. But let's get back to this because it gets, you know, as far as the gravity of this, this is going to hit you in the head. And if you don't act on this, then you admittedly and willingly are poisoning your children. Simple, plain and simple. We're responsible for what happens, right? It is we the people, right? Okay, this is our fault. Uh, let's get back to it. This is tantamount to gross negligence. Water consumers started to send their uh, in their payment under protest so that when the class action lawsuits began, they would be covered. After adding floor, uh, water fluoridation for 44 years, our town had 70% cavities in our children's teeth. Okay, wasn't it? Wasn't the water fluoridation supposed to stop that? Okay. Um, also ranked 34th in the nation for cancer. Uh, just while Brookings, Oregon, just 25 minutes north of us, was ranked 756 in the nation for cancer for the same time periods, and Brookings never fluoridated their water. It, does this mean something to you now? Are one of your relatives dying of cancer right now, being poisoned uh, with chemotherapy and other things? Do you live in a town that the water has fluoride in it, right? Is your kid bouncing off the walls, can't do anything with them? Do, are you drinking fluoride? Or or, or is your town, like, kind of dumb? Like, they're passing all these stupid laws and you, you have no idea how they how they were able to, to do that? And it's because nobody really gives a fuck, everything's fine? It's fine. I mean, I'm sure there's a good reason for all this that's going on. Let's get back into this, shall we? If you're not horrified yet, then then maybe you had a little too much fluoride. Um, hang on, because it gets worse. We have high rates of not only cancer, but thyroid, diabetes, and kidney disease, all uh, with links to HFSA. One constituent ended up in an ER with seizures after sh uh, showering for 10 minutes. Her doctor has subsequently written a letter describing her allergic reaction to water fluoridation yeah so it might not even kill you slowly it very well could kill you instantly yeah god forbid uh this stands out to me because even before uh new hampshire governor lynch signed this i remember i'm a new hampshire native and the pediatrician telling us that we could not use local water in the baby's formula because it would pit their teeth uh, soft enamel now reason tells you that not only babies have soft enamel first of all and if a substance can pit enamel whether it be soft or not it can pit enamel it may take longer to pit hard enamel but if it I mean come on right it stands to reason right okay um, yeah, so 2012, infant warnings concerning mixing fluoridated water with formula because of the high prevalence of uh, fluorosis. Fluorosis is the first visible sign of fluoride poisoning. Our Environmental Protection Agency announced early in 2011 that 41% of our nation's teenagers had fluorosis and recommended cutting the parts per million down to 0.7. EPA even says they have been poisoning you. You've been putting in too much. Let me tell you, any amount is too much. The EPA, EPA are, lying, are lying bastards. This is their compromise. To, to Like when they raise the acceptable safe limits after Fukushima, you know, of the radionuclides, they, they raised the safe limits and said, okay, you can eat more radiation now and you'll still be fine. Yeah, it, they're lying bastards. But this does prove, you know, them trying to pacify you, if, if you can think, proves uh, even by your government agencies that you have been poisoned absolutely have been poisoned okay our city council reduced the parts per million from 1.2 to 0.7 that was a step in the right direction but not nearly enough because our EPA is doing nothing really uh, test or protect the public from toxic industrial waste product uh, the only safe level when considering the addition of HFSA to drinking and bathing water is zero 
Uh, now there were some other some other stuff here too. So that should horrify you. Okay. Add all these things up. Hopefully this music is helping. It's stimulating some part of the brain so that you won't just you know justify all this stuff and say well it must be good for you because it, it it's killing you slowly it's killing your kids and uh, with the post that I saw earlier with uh, you know our our kids being targeted for ADHD and all the we have so many toxins in the environment is ADHD because of fluoride I can't say that I can just reason that it's you know relative and that added with other toxins uh, in the food, air, and water, that we have a cocktail floating around in our children's mind. And, and if we start taking out those elements, this is one of them. Uh, our kids will do better. Simple as that. Um, I want to point out something uh, that I read in here. The public water uh, municipalities are the ones that are legally guilty uh, for lawsuit okay um, it's it's not the government it, it's not the company that's selling the the fluoride it's it's the yeah the water precincts that's right so uh, you there on your city council uh, do, do you that little nest egg your city has been able to put away and maybe you intend to uh, feed the homeless or house the homeless or do something good improve the city put it in a park whatever you're gonna do that money's gonna be taken from you as soon as people realize that they can sue you for poisoning them and I hope you do citizens of every municipality Start launching lawsuits. You are being poisoned. The proof is there. Whether you have suffered from that or not, this is criminal, and the people that are doing this need to be put in prison. If I put in your drink any poison, I would be guilty of attempted murder. Correct? Okay. Now, whether it's knowingly or not, I'm not saying that everybody on the city council knows that they're killing you. They're just as dumbed down as you are. You need to explain it to them. You need to hit them where it hurts, in the wallet. Hey, by the way, that's your money anyway, right? Right. That's right. Ho withhold your money. Refuse to pay. Refuse to pay for that. Pay. pay. And the other thing, uh, and I, I want to point this out too, because, yeah, right here. Uh, here's the part they don't tell you. In 2011, our city finished a $43.8 million upgrade expansion to our wastewater treatment plant, which is state-of-the-art technology that utilizes MBR or membrane bioreactor technology. When I asked our public works director if this gets the fluoride out of the water, he replied, no. So this poisoning is going into the Pacific Ocean. It's not bad enough that it's radiated from Fukushima since the 40s. You've been dumping fluoride because, according to their statistics, 99% uh, comes goes through your body. 99% goes down the drain, supposedly. Whatever the percent is, it's not getting filtered out. It's going in, you know, all your bath water, your toilet water, all that. Yeah, yeah, it, it's going into the Pacific Ocean, this poison. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to link you to uh, the short post. Subscribe to these guys. You'll get email uh, alerts. Start start taking some action in your area. Uh, this is too crucial. We're, we're in a, a crucial point in this country, folks, and I think you all know that. And if our minds aren't a, as wise as Fox, then, then, then we're going to lose. We're going to lose ourselves. We're going to lose our country. We need to think and we need to take action when we see there is criminal activity going on. This is criminal activity. Uh, uh, it's, it's slow genocide because it's happening on a national scale. This is slow genocide. Broken down so that you can never get to the people responsible for this. No, each of your towns are individually responsible. The, the people that convinced you to do it, yeah, they got away scot-free with billions of dollars while your children are now on medication and your grandma's dying with her hair falling out. Much love. Many thanks. And I'll see you.